All right, I'd like to take a quick tour of I Can Blink, or I should say Blink for Windows. This is beta. Uh, Blink is a cross-platform, a free cross-platform SIP client. Uh, it works with, uh, var you know, multiple, it works with any standard SIP server. It's cross-platform. Uh, the first uh, Blink client was written for Mac OS, and now there is a Linux and uh, a Windows beta. Uh, there is hints that there will be a mobile edition at some point. Of course, no promises there. Uh, but the Windows is beta, and we thought we'd do a quick uh, demo of the the beta product. We have it installed here. Whoops, I think I just made a full screen there accidentally. Um, but you'll notice it is a contact-centric SIP client, somewhat like Microsoft Communicator. And Blink does not have a dial pad, but you can just up here at the top. I've already registered it. The way you register to a server is you go under Blink, type Accounts, and you can add an account. And really, uh, it's a matter of typing in your user, what you want your username. You know, something like 40 at IP address and then your passwords that simple and I did I set one up I have this registering to SNOM 1 SNOM has a cross-platform uh, small business phone system and we are registered to that and really if you want to dial you know you, you can either look a look a contact up by just typing a lot like you do in communicator or you can dial a number for example I'll just dial my own extension hit enter you are calling your mailbox for the first time and I'm to identify your extension you may record your name this recording will be used when someone and I'll just put that on hold I just put that on hold and you'll, you'll notice a couple things here we have a button to, to record the call this will end the call and you can see everything that's going on uh, you know what what type of call this is how long the call is and if we went ahead and made another call to let's say another extension um, and enter we, we can put him on hold so we can easily handle so now I can click back and hit it it's easy to switch between multiple very easy to switch between multiple calls um, and you can also it's a little hard to see because I'm using a netbook to do this recording and it has a small screen but down at the bottom here you probably can see the top of it there is a conference button it's extremely easy just to hit conference and have the calls hooked together and now you're hearing them all and there I'm gonna break the conference so let's just close him so it's very easy to start a conference it's very easy to have multiple audio calls I might say another thing that appears to be a strength of Blink is their support for HD voice. Uh, currently, uh, another thing that drew me to Blink, it, the, the, the user interface is very clean, very very thought through, very sharp. Uh, also, let's, let's just switch back to the contacts. Oh, and it's going to say there's two active calls down here, so let's switch back. Let's get rid of those calls by hanging up, hanging up. And back to the contacts and one thing once again a little hard to see it down there at the bottom but one of the things that drew me to blink is the Mac edition has screen sharing if you'll notice to the right it's a little hard to see it and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pull it up but there you can see uh, I am screen sharing and and voice so it's a SIP client that will also do screen sharing currently the Windows beta edition does not have screen sharing but it's on the roadmap and, and same with I am but it's a very nice I would say uh, a SIP client that if you're looking for a free SIP client definitely keep blink in mind I can blink.com I, I just saw a Twitter uh, that noted that the, 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 the full or the, the final release will soon be out so keep an eye on blink uh, I think it's a great free SIP client uh, for a, a even a business PBX all right.